In this video, I'd like to give an update concerning my Charles Schwab stock portfolio brokerage account for the week of November 21st, 2022 through November 25th, 2022. It was a short week in terms of trading due to the Thanksgiving holiday, but it was a profitable week. So let's look into further detail. As you see this week, my account gained $71 and 80 cents. So it was a good, good week. Good to be in the green. So we had a nice, nice increase in value for this stock portfolio account. Here you see the beginning value, which was $5,043.39. I didn't add any money to the account this week. I will next week though. The investment change so the account gained again $71.80, which leaves us an ending value of $5,115.19, which is very, very pleasing to me because if you've been following along with these videos, the first milestone I wanted to get was $5,000. I opened this account in June of 2022, and by the end of November, 2022, I got $5,000, and the goal was to get $5,000 in this account by the end of 2022, so I accomplished that goal a month ahead of schedule. The overall arching goal is $100,000 in this account, and I'm trying to build this account up by picking individual stocks, see if I'm successful at that. Now, let's look at the rate of return. This week, the rate of return was 1.42%, which I'm very pleased with. Anytime we make money in the market, I am very, very satisfied. These different lines you see are the different common indexes that I am trying to at least compete with, uh, get the same in the same ballpark as the rate of returns. But ideally, I'm trying to outperform these common indexes. So the different colors represent the different indexes. Purple is the Dow Jones. Green is the NASDAQ. The bluish grayish color here is the S&P 500. And the orange is the Russell 2000. And my account is light blue. So there was two common indexes that outperformed me this week. Let's look at which ones those were. So my individual stock portfolio account, the rate of return was 1.42%. I outperformed the Russell 2000, which was 1.07%. However, I didn't beat the S&P 500, which was 1.56%, or the Dow Jones Industrial Average, which was 1.80%. Dow Jones Industrial Average has been performing pretty well here in the past couple months. It seems like it's been a long time since I outperformed the, the Dow Jones. And then NASDAQ, I did outperform 0.72%. But all of them were in the positive, which is good. So uh, I was a bit, I outperformed two, which was the Russell 2000 and the NASDAQ, but underperformed the S&P 500, and the top dog this week, the Dow Jones Industrial Average. So all in all, I'm very, very happy with this week's performance. Uh, of course, you have, in hindsight, you have some regrets. Wish you had a little bit more money in the market or at least invested more this week. Uh, but we're going to invest more next week. Hopefully, the positive trend keeps continuing and we get continued to get some gains on this account. So made some money, $71.80. Be looking for a video from me uh, where I'm going to recap the, the whole entire month of November, whether or not this account made money or lost money. And then at the very end of the year, the end of December 2022, I'll give a, a year recap, even though this account hasn't been around a year. But, so essentially it'd be like a six month recap. Let's see if we made money or lost money over that long 
term. So if you like this video, I appreciate it. Hit that like button. And if you want the latest videos on how to make money and save money and invest money so you can make money work for you and you can live life on your own terms and you can work because you want to, not because you have to, I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And that way you get the latest videos from this channel. All the best. Hopefully you had a good Thanksgiving holiday and take care.